A war between North and South Korea could cost the world economy $4 trillion, which is estimated at 3.9% of global gross domestic product, according to Bloomberg. The author reminded that 26 million people live in the mentioned agglomeration. The article noted that a possible military confrontation would be the largest scale war in terms of the number of casualties. According to the article, during a military conflict, large industrial corporations such as Samsung Electronics may suffer serious damage. According to the author's claim, such companies which produce 41% of drum chips and 33% of the NAND micro circuits required for the South Korean army will become the target of North Korea's ballistic missiles. Among the biggest buyers of Samsung electronics are China and the USA. Bloomberg analysts also report that in the first 365 days of the war, GDP production in South Korea may decrease by 37.5% and in the United States by 2.3%. So, a full-fledged war on the Korean peninsula could kill millions of people and cost the global economy $4 trillion in the first year, according to a Bloomberg economics study. This is more than double the damage caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We Sungrak, a former head of the Korean Peninsula Peace Negotiation Headquarters, said, there is a 30% chance of a small-scale close race on the Korean Peninsula within a few years, adding, it is the most serious situation since the collapse of the Soviet Union. Bloomberg Economics pointed out that in addition to the war, the collapse of the Kim Jong-un regime is one of the scenarios leading to a crisis on the Korean Peninsula. If the Kim Jong-un regime collapses, the most urgent issue for the US South Korea and China is to secure North Korea's nuclear weapons, he said. North Korea may also be emboldened to try a nuclear test due to cooperation with Russia that the US and South Korea said includes arms transfers to help President Vladimir Putin in his assault on Ukraine. Kim pledged to provide unconditional support to Putin for his military efforts in Ukraine when the Russian president last month made his first visit to North Korea in 24 years. In the Volgograd region, a passenger train traveling from Kazan to Adler derailed. According to eyewitnesses, after a collision with a Kamaz at an unregulated crossing, nine carriages with people overturned, and there are many casualties. A source in the Kotelnikovsky District Administration said, there is a railroad crossing on the approach to Kotelnikovo. It has a traffic light, but no barriers or gates. It is still unknown how exactly it all happened, but it is possible that the Kamaz ended up on this crossing and the train crashed into it. The truck driver was hospitalized, the press service of the main directorate of the Ministry of Internal Affairs for the Volgograd region reported. According to RIA Novosti, ambulance crews are working at the scene of the accident. In the first minutes after the emergency, Andrei Bacharov, the head of the Volgograd region held an operational meeting set tasks to provide all necessary assistance to the train passengers and eliminate the consequences of the emergency. There were 812 people on the train. The number of victims is being clarified. An operational headquarters has been created, Andrei Bacharov was quoted as saying by the press service of the governor's office. There are 324 specialists and 109 units of equipment working on site. The shot telegram channel, citing its source, reports, 37 people, including 6 children, were injured in the train crash, 4 were hospitalized. According to shot, one of the victims, a woman, had her legs trapped, and emergency services are currently trying to get her out. According to the service that allows tracking train movements online, the train arrived at the Volgograd, one station 47 minutes late and departed, having played back 12 minutes. The last point where the train checked in was the Gremyukea station on the approach to Kotelnikovo, which it passed with a delay of 45 minutes. Look at this, 
Это наш переезд к Хутор Котельниково.